The chromista, or the lower fungi, are a very unique group. When we look at the taxonomy of the chromista, we start out, it says it's got a cellulose cell wall. So these are not true fungi, but rather they are often talked about as fungi because of the way they are. They are considered to be the possible transitional state between fungi and the precursors of fungi and plant materials because they've got a cellulose cell wall rather than a chitin type cell wall. They have non-septate hyphae and they have flagellated spores, which are called zoospores. Zoo meaning they move, so they are spores that are able to move. When we look at the chromista, we see things like this. And in this particular picture, you see a sphere. Inside of the sphere, you see several little smaller spheres. On the outside of the sphere, what we see is some hyphae-like material, and you can see hyphae-like material on the inside as well. The sphere itself is called an oogonium. The oogonium is basically where you are going to have the production of egg cells that are fertilized cells. The material on the outside is the antheridium. This is where you're going to have the male gametes transferred to the female gametes on the inside. And you can see the antheridium kind of wraps itself around. It locks in there and it's able to transfer its gametes. Over here, you can see similar sort of picture. The oogonium on the inside. You've got the hyphae that come up and make the antheridium starting out on the base, and it's going to come up and it's going to allow for fertilization of that. This is a picture of a much larger chromista, or a much larger group. This was taken from baited water. Water was baited with sesame seed. This material was then found growing on the sesame seed about seven days later. And you can see the various spores inside of the antheridia, and these spores would then be able to be released and would start the production of new growths of this material. Some of these become important plant pathogens. This is potato. Potato suffers from a material that is called late blight. Late blight is due to a chromista type fungus. And this particular chromista type fungus does a lot of damage. Caused the Irish potato famine is a very unique sort of material here. We've got a video also posted of a sporangium of a chromista basically releasing spores. And it's a very interesting sort of thing to see. Again, these live in aquatic type environments where there's a lot of moisture around. You cut the potato open and that's what it looks like. And that's not an edible potato. If you take this potato and you plant it, you will transmit the fungus. So it's a important group of fungal-like organisms that need to be explored.